Testing, testing, one, two, three, Bishop is back, and welcome to my chessboard. I'm so tired. <laughs> I've been so busy between the holidays, family, and work. I've been working a lot, actually. Uh, so, oh, how convenient. What up, Raikou Uchiha? Testing, testing, one, two, three, Bishop is back, and welcome to my chessboard. He already did my intro for me. I have such good friends. All right, anyway. I hope you all have been enjoying your holidays. I really do. So, also uh, shout out to White Fang. This is on. This is gonna be on his video as well. So, uh, if you're watching this through my channel, go over to his channel and check it out. Uh, he does a lot of awesome ninja ideas. That's what he does. Or he. That's part of his channel, and that's my favorite part of his channel. So, if you want to go check him out, uh, I recommend watching those. They're a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, he. This will also be on his video, so thank you, White Fang. I really appreciate it. And uh, so we got the Six Tails version of Naruto, otherwise known as the Four Star Nine Tails Naruto Chakra. So, uh, yeah, he's a beast. Let's get right into his stuff. Tailed Beast Bomb. This is a prompt. It will do ninjutsu damage and ignition to the opponent's entire team. It will also cause repulse to the selected unit. Uh, this is pretty good. <laughs> this is this mystery hits really hard. It hits really hard. Next, his attack, his Taijutsu attack. This will do Tai and Ninjutsu damage. Attacks a maximum of three units of the opponent's units in the front row and causes ignition. Has a fixed chance of causing low float. Next, Tailed Beast Cloak or Coat. When causing Taijutsu damage against Naruto, the attacker will suffer ignition. So he is definitely a front row. Uh, he's an ignition. He's an ignition machine, <laughs> more or less. Tail Beast Chakra. Before the action in the round, recover life based on the unit's own ninjutsu attribute. Also, become immune to all debuffs. Isn't that lovely? And then Rage increases this unit's ninjutsu and attack by 1.2%. For every 1% life lost. Wow. Uh, so the if you have him down to like halfway or lower health, he's going to absolutely slaughter you. It's ridiculous. Let's look at his stat growth. Now his life growth, 2,561. This is a crazy high life growth. This is really good. His attack growth, 1,124. This is above average. Uh... It's gonna hit you hard. Bottom line. Defense growth, 1,134. Yes. He's not gonna go down easy either. And the fact that he's immune to debuffs makes him much more annoying. Next is res or nin his ninjutsu growth, 1,312. This is a pretty high ninjutsu growth. The reason why it's not higher is because of his passive. Otherwise, if you got it, if his ninjutsu growth was as high as. Let's check, let's check Datara. Yeah, if his ninjutsu growth was as high as Datara's, and you got, like, at base, and you got Ninetales Naruto down to, like, half health, he'd be able to one-shot almost everything. And that's just, at that point, you can't have that. <laughs> that's, that's just, that's too much. His resistance growth, 1,134. Uh, I wouldn't call him a tank, but I, he's not, he's not uh, squishy. He's not, like, Itachi squishy. Or Shisui Squishy, or Masked Man Squishy, yeah, this, he's squishy. Alrighty, so let's get right into the fight. I'm going to fight all 12, because I want to show you that it sweeps. Ninetales Naruto's attack, he sweeps. Here we go. All across three lands. Sweep! There we go, ignition, right away. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I'd say that's really good. Actually, that's really good. So we're going to go ahead and see how much damage we can do with, uh, with Naruto. Now, he goes really good with Itachi because they sweep across all, all the lands. Uh, that's just, that's really nice in Great Ninja War. It's really, really nice in Great Ninja War. I'm going to go ahead and attack you. Yeah, let's put it on two times, and then auto. 
Combo's pretty good, especially if you got King of Hell. I mean, you can really lay down the pressure with this team. Two people are immune to debuffs. I mean, it's it's a good... He's good. He's really good. Now, uh, pricing. Some of you might be asking me what, what the pricing would be. Too much. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. I'm pretty sure he is the... Excluding Susano Itachi and Edo Tensei Hashirama, I'm pretty sure... Ninetales Cloak Naruto is the most expensive character in the game. And boom! 22k. 22k with the hot with just the Hashirama buff, by the way. There's no other buff here. It's just the Hashirama buff. <laughs> with his uh with his barrier and his with his barrier and his ninja god passive. Okay, back to his price. He's oh, he's well over a thousand dollars. I'd say he's almost fifteen hundred dollars, depending on how you get him. You might be able to shave a few frags off here and there, but I mean, he is ridiculously expensive, and that's not justifiable. I mean, don't get me wrong, Six Tails Naruto is really really good. It's a really solid ninja to have in this game, but his price is just ludicrous. His, his price is absolutely, it's just, he's stupid expensive. And honestly, he should have, to be this expensive, he should have ninjutsu as high as, uh, as high as Daedara's. He should. So let's look at his mood. Uh, minus 5% on attack and plus 49% on his defense. Uh, this is good. I would, I would say do this. Since he's not considered a huge tank, I would want Naruto to be able to live a little longer. Uh, because the more dangerous he is with the lower life and whatnot. So, I would, it's smart to subtract the attack on here. Uh, I wouldn't mind his defense, I would mind his resistance. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, you could go full on blitz and put this plus 49% or whatever percentage into ninjutsu and you make him hit that much harder so that wouldn't be a bad idea either but then again very very little people have him in this <laughs> very few people have him in this game right now only people who have dared to spend that much money have have got this and Mizu hats off to you man you finally got it <laughs> so that concludes my review for Six Tails Naruto I hope you all have a fantastic, fantastic evening and a happy new year. Once again, thank you, White Fang. I appreciate it. See you next time, guys.